What's good, YouTube? Check it out. I'm about to drop a meal prep bomb on you guys today, all right? As you'll see right here on the kitchen table, I got some uh, some basic foods, all right? Some basic foods. I'm gonna be taking you through exactly what I do to meal prep. I'm gonna break it down for real this time. I'm gonna take you step by step, day by day, meal by meal, dollar by dollar, all right? What am I talking about? Well, I got receipts, okay? I got receipts for what you see on this table, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to prepare one full day of 3,000 and one calories. Check the screenshot, 3,000 and one calories per day. So if you were to do this, you see, you've see you seen the price in the title, but we're looking at around 15, hold on, let me check here. Did the calculations for you guys to a T. 15.39 per day, now that's Canadian dollars. I know I've got a lot of viewers in other parts of the world, other parts of the country even, so these might differ in price. You know, this might be a little higher than most people. I got most of this stuff at Costco. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna cook all this stuff up and show you exactly how I prep a lot of these meals, the chicken, turkey. You know what, let me, let me go through the ingredients for you here. So, first up, we've got some chicken breast, okay? I'm gonna show you the exact weigh-ins for each meal. Tilapia. A lean ground turkey. Those are the proteins I'm working with. Egg whites. I've got regular eggs. I've got protein, or sorry, oatmeal packets. I've got Japanese sweet potatoes. I've got yams. I've got some pasta. I've got some rice. And that's pretty much it. I got some Greek yogurt. I got some protein powder. Let's see. Greek yogurt in here, you know. Got protein powder in the cover, but again, I'm gonna show you all that stuff soon. Okay, for now, I'm gonna show you the cooking process. I'll put a little voiceover over top of it, but this is basically how I've been prepping. I wanna prep in advance. You've seen me talk about this a million times. If you don't do it yet, you're messing up, but don't worry, don't worry. I got you covered. You're gonna have no excuse now for $15 a day. Come on, Canadian. It comes up to around $105 a week for 3,000 calories a day. That could be a whole bulking meal plan for a lot of you out there. A lot of skinny boys could be a bulking plan. Okay, for myself currently, it's a cutting plan. You know, I, I have been recently doing the Cutting Chronicles series, so if you haven't been watching, go ahead and subscribe, check it out. Let me show you how to get shredded, all right? So now, let's cook these meals. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. Let's get it started. First up, gotta get the boring stuff out of the way. So, you'll see me peeling the potatoes. Uh, looking like a dumbass leaving the water on, that's for sure. Uh, sorry, mom and dad, once you watch, it's probably gonna be like, buddy. No need to turn that water and leave it on. But anyway, I, I turn it off at some point soon, which I'm not gonna show you. So you peel the potatoes, uh, get this part over with. The potatoes take the longest to cook. So that's why I like to toss them in first. I started off with this. They take the longest to prepare also. Okay, so once that's done, of course, I peel all the sweet potatoes. Then I peel the Japanese sweet potato. Now Japanese sweet potato is a great, source of carbohydrates it is you know obviously a sweet potato and that has to be one of the greatest sources of carbohydrates the Japanese sweet potato tastes slightly different and it is definitely much better than a regular white potato in terms of the actual carbohydrate you're getting from it the quality of it is slightly higher so this is why I'm sticking to this it has the least calories per gram out of all the potatoes another great reason to include them after that, you want to slice them up relatively thin since they are all sweet potatoes. They are more dense and they do take a little bit longer to cook. So if you cut them thicker, they're going to take even longer. Cut them out as thin as you can. I don't have the best knife here, as you can tell. Anyways, once that's done, you want to get a baking sheet. And I like to group all the potatoes together, of course. So you got the baking sheet. I use this olive oil here now i don't include this in the calories or macros i'm using such a small amount and uh, i just don't find that it really matters that much i know i might get some hate for that but at the same time i mean come on it's it's really not necessary you can cook with coconut oil or whatever or even that that palm oil that stuff that you spray either way works i like the olive oil as i find it's the most effective so once that's I put the oven to 350 degrees Celsius and this is what I put on my potatoes just a little bit of sea salt uh, you want to make sure that you kind of move them around get it in there also some oregano 
this is all just flavor i'm sure if you have by the way any better recipes for this just comment below i'd love to know what they are so you get the oregano in there also some paprika i don't often see this being used so some of you might be surprised but hey i find it tastes pretty good so give it a shot i don't like any spicy stuff on my food next up we're going to prepare the tilapia so that's already in the oven the potatoes again we use the olive oil for this and go ahead and throw the top in there, fit as much as you can. Now for the seasoning, I'm gonna be using this lemon pepper seasoning. That's all I find that I need for the fish. It tastes very good, cooks very well, and that's, that's all there. So any fish, when I used to make trout, same deal. You can obviously use whatever else you'd like. I find garlic powder works pretty well, onion powder. After that, go ahead and place the top in the oven. Well, that's gonna take about 30 to 45 minutes. Like I said before, the sweet potato will take close to an hour. Now here we've got the chicken that I seasoned with some sea salt. And I'm just doing the one for now to show you how it goes, but obviously you're gonna put place all the chicken on the baking sheet. I got some pepper in there. You know, I'm gonna use some paprika and oregano again. So you can tell very basic stuff when it comes to the actual seasonings. I don't feel the need to complicate it. If I really don't like the taste for whatever reason, I can always throw some sauce on top of it, right? So just gonna wash the chicken off, chicken breast, of course, not thighs. Fill that in, season the rest of them, and then you're gonna toss that into the oven as well. It's gonna take about an hour. I started using the oven to cook, I'd say probably a couple months ago, cause it saves so much time. You're able to cook so many things at once. Anyway, moving on, we've got the rice. I don't really measure how much rice I put in, but when I fill it up, I do fill it up uh, so that it's quite a bit higher than the rice and put that in the back there so that uh, you're gonna need the room for other things we're gonna be cooking up and definitely make sure to stir it up right when you put it on there and you won't have to worry about it after that that way the rice doesn't stick from there we've got some green onions again this is optional it might cost you a little bit more but it's not necessary i'm using some corn oil to cook the turkey this is what's up next i use the corn oil because again it tastes good and i just find it's good to cook with you'll see i barely put any in there definitely not in my opinion enough to matter and track so go ahead and put the green onions in there and then toss it on the stove and get ready for it to fry up so everything else is ready to go in the oven cooking the rice all that's left is the turkey which i just showed you i chopped up some green onions i put them in here so Next, I'm simply gonna grab the turkey, ground turkey, better option than um, ground beef. I recently made the switch. And now we're looking at 200 grams per meal, so I'm actually gonna get another one here. Stay with me, cameraman. Get the two, we'll get two packages of turkey. This feels kind of cool, actually. Go ahead and throw it in there. We'll let that uh, kind of mix in. Well, I gotta mix it in. So once the turkey's in there, I'm gonna grab this, you know, kind of shove those green onions in there a little bit. So the green onion is gonna give it obviously some more taste. You know, I used to do this with the ground beef. This is a great thing if you wanna use it for the ground uh, turkey as well. I can't talk right now for some reason. So ground turkey, mix with green onions, and this will take a little while to cook. As you see, it's already cooking uh, pretty quick. So I use some canola oil instead of the olive oil. I find it works better, again, for the taste. This is going now, we're gonna get the veggies real quick. What I wanted to show you is this is how you multitask right here, all right? It doesn't take very long. Spend this time to kind of clean everything up. Am I in the shop? Yeah. Spend this time to kind of clean everything up and you know, I, I package the extra fish, chicken that I'm not gonna be cooking today. I only have, if you look over here, I only have so many Tupperwares. These are 12, let's see if I can fill all 12, but either way, you know, I don't personally have enough. If you have enough to make for the whole week, even better. Package everything that I'm not using for now, and I'm going to freeze that. I'm gonna clean everything, but first, let's get the veggies ready, so check it out. All right, this, we're gonna fill it up. This is the last thing we need is the veggies right now. This is for the main bulk of the meals, all right? So fill this up to almost full. Okay, so I fill this up with water, grab it, fresh pack these Normandy style mixed veggies. Again, get it at Costco. And 
and you just want to fill up the bowl as much as you can. Just fill it up, you know, all the way kind of thing. You know, just looks like this bag's done, but that's definitely not enough veggies because we're going for about a cup per meal. Obviously, I'm going to lay out each meal, the exact calories. I'm going to give you the exact macros because I love you as my subscribers so much. I want to help you that much. You know, I'm sick and tired of all these excuses. I can't meal prep. Shut up. 100 bucks a week, 400 bucks a month. If you don't have that, I don't care who you are. You're blowing it. I wouldn't even watch this a video first. I'd go watch a uh, how to make, you know, a thousand, I don't know, how to make money. What do you mean 400 bucks a month, okay? So again, fill the veggies up as much as you can. Obviously, you don't want this thing overflowing. Well, maybe I do. Oh, that looks good. That'll give me enough, enough for meals. I'll spill it or else my mom kills me. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on to high. So like I said, now, we got everything going, check it out. Watch out for that blast is gonna give you. So we got the potatoes, right? Got the chicken, the chicken's in the center. That's gonna take about, I don't know, another 40 minutes or so. The fish is probably almost done. Potatoes gonna take about a total of an hour, so I'm gonna check on those soon. Again, the turkey, the rice, the veggies. We're going now, we're going, you see what I mean? This is how you do it. now. Am I a chef? You think I'm a chef? Of course not. You see me season these things? It's, it's hilarious. I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't really necessarily know what I'm doing, but let me tell you, it doesn't taste half bad, that's for sure. And you know what? It, it's all about practicality. You wanna eat, you've always eaten. The reason why you're fat, the reason why you're out of shape, you've always eaten because you love eating. Oh, I want it to taste good. No, no, no. We eat for purpose. So this is what it looks like, but hey, still, you can make it taste good. You see these sauces over here? Why not? If you follow my Instagram, which if you don't follow up, you're going to see me using this stuff all the time. You know? I'm not saying you got to hate your life. It's the opposite. We do this so we can love our life, so we can live a better life, okay? Now this is how I'm going to leave it. I'm going to clean up real quick, and then I'm going to show you as I split up each meal, you know, how much I'm putting in each, how I weigh it out, all that stuff, and then I'm going to wrap it up give you the breakdown of the, the calories, the macros, everything you need to know, all right? So I'll see you in a bit. People always ask me what kitchen scale I use, and honestly, I got this one like years ago at Walmart. I'm talking like six years, and it works perfectly fine. So it doesn't really matter which one you get as long as it's obviously accurate, I guess. Anyway, weigh out eight ounces of chicken, put in two cups of rice, then I weigh in 220 grams of tilapia, and then I put the carbs in after. I usually put the protein in first and the carbs. Obviously, I zero out the scale between them. The third meal is 200 grams of turkey and 200 grams of Japanese sweet potato gains. All right, so we are done the prep. This is what it looks like. You saw me weigh out each meal. So let me explain and break it down to exactly each day, how many meals, the calories, the macros, everything for you, okay? So meal one is breakfast, of course. This is gonna consist of two of these eggs. I'm gonna have a cup of egg whites. Two of these packets. You can buy these packets individually. Um, you know, maple and brown sugar, whichever flavor you like. That's gonna be your breakfast. Meal two, we're gonna be going with the eight ounces of chicken, one cup of veggies, and two cups of rice. All right, so I've got quite a few of those laid out. Obviously, I'm not doing the whole week prepped here as I explained before. Meal three is gonna be over to the tilapia, which I got right here, no, nope, right here. So some yams, that's gonna be 200 grams of yams, 220 grams of tilapia, and again, a cup of veggies. The third meal, lean ground turkey, 200 grams, 200 grams of Japanese sweet potato, no veggies in this one. Okay, after that, I'm gonna be going with 130.5 grams of any sort of pasta, really. Uh, this is a rigatoni. Uh, so, you know, this, again, Costco. Costco, Costco, that's how you save a lot of money. That's gonna go along with some of this Kraft Parmesan cheese. Uh, 12 grams of this, very, very cheap. The last thing we're having is kind of like a pre-bed uh, pre snack. So you got 0% fat Greek yogurt, 200 grams and two scoops of protein powder. This is the one I use. There's tons of other supplements that I use. If you haven't seen the video on that yet, I just posted it recently. Go ahead and click here. Those meals that I just explained, that's one total day. So it's gonna come out to, I wrote it all down here, six meals a day, including the snack, 
We're looking at $15.39 to be exact, okay? Everything's broken down. I broke it all down for you. You know, you could obviously see if maybe something works better for you. Like for example, you wanna manipulate this for yourself, okay? The chicken costs 272 per eight ounces in this scenario. 200 grams of tilapia costs three dollars. So if you want to make it cheaper, just do them all with chicken, right? The uh, let's see the ground turkey 192. If anything, do them all with ground turkey. You're gonna have the cheapest option right there. You can bust this down to ten dollars uh, a day if you want. Also, this is three thousand and one calories. Okay, that's the total for the six meals that I showed you. Okay, you look at meal prep companies and they're gonna charge you a couple hundred dollars a week, but what are they really giving you? Two to three meals a day. I'm talking six full good meals. I've got it all in my fitness pal here. Oh, well, 3,001 calories. This could be for bulking if that's over your maintenance. This could be for cutting if you're like me, and that's under your maintenance. You're trying to lose body fat. The protein comes out to 279 grams. Definitely covering your protein, I can guarantee it. Carbohydrates will come up to 371, which is a very good uh, moderate amount. The macro split here is very reasonable. The fat comes out to only 38 grams. Some people need more fat. You can swap the turkey for ground beef instead. I did the opposite because I need less fat, I need less calories. This, this literally works in any way. Just manipulate what I showed you here. Cook it, you saw how easy it was to cook. So simple. You know, if I can do it, you can do it, trust me. But this is what it's gonna look like, very healthy meals, you know, good sources of carbs, good sources of protein, everything you need is in here. So guys, there is no excuse. This took me approximately two hours because, you know, I, I did have to record and all that. Naturally, it would take an hour and a half or so, but this is the final result. You can make it work. Tell me that there's any excuse you have now. Message me with any questions, comment below with any thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this helps. And I'll see you in the next video. If you want more videos like this, comment below, like I said. I appreciate you all for subscribing and following along. We're gonna have more content. Let's get shredded, everyone. See you in that next one.